I'm a British black boy who makes music. That's who I am. And I just love Jesus. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I was very fortunate to be uh, found by Rodney, um, and I mean literally found. Um, I was in New York doing something. I literally was going to retire when I finished this one trip that I was going to do. I go to this meeting to meet this person who I'm not going to mention, um, and while he's letting me down, telling me I was whack, mm. Rodney was at Jimmy Iovine's office, and Rodney said he heard, he always tells me the story, he said he heard this thump going around he was like whose music is that and he's like jimmy give me a second okay i'm just gonna go to the bathroom i'll be back went and found where the thump was which was the next room went in there was like who is that right and they were like oh some kid called harmony he's gonna be in la he should be landing in la any minute he said as soon as you find him bring him to me um while one was telling me i was whack another was saying it's time for you to be great so when i met rodney rodney was the guy who was like yo you know, welcome to Dark Child, I want you on board. And basically there was that, that you know, I mean, the, the story is so much deeper than that. It was right, so yeah. much, it was a whole spiritual thing that happened. And But, you know, he gave me my opportunity and this is why I'm here. You, you've you done Maroon 5, Ariana Grande, you've done Fantasia. So you could do R&B, hip hop, pop. What other genres? Um, I just finished doing a, a movie piece for The Best Man 2. <gasps> the best man too. Yeah, I'm doing the soundtrack. You're doing the soundtrack. Yes. If you remember, as from the first movie where um, Ty Diggs and Nia Long have that moment, and then the tape goes, oh yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. and it freezes. So I had to recreate that song for a different scene, and I had to flip it because it's for a funeral scene. Oh, you know about the script. So what's the What's the, the T? Uh, no, I don't know. In no case one, for the people that don't know, I, I, mean, I can't. I can't disclose what happens, but there's a funeral scene. Speaking of funerals, you had a a, a close brush with death. For me, that whole accident that happened still doesn't make any sense to me. But that morning, my mom literally told us, like she had a dream. One of us got hit by a car, mm. and I was like. She was like, we got to pray. And I was like, no, mom, I'm late for school. And, you know, it was the last day of school. And she was like, Harmony, take the bridge. Make sure you take the bridge. I was like, okay, mom. And uh, as I got off the bus, we were playing. And my friend says, let's cross the, let's cross, let's cross the road and just get to the other side quicker. So I was like, cool. And I decided to run across. And as I run across, the car that's coming behind sees the bus right mm -hmm. this car's going at 62 miles an hour something like that the report is crazy sees the bus halts literally breaks and goes across and i'm in the middle of the road and it's just me in the car mm. and it's just like boom and then i just felt something say like it's not time and then boom and i woke up and then when i woke up they already had put me like they already covered me up Ready to, they told my mom my mom he's dead like mm -hmm. i'm dead right do you know what i mean so when i woke up it was like no he's alive he's alive mm -hmm. <laughs> he's alive and i'm like yo <laughs> what y'all doing out here <laughs> like, right what's going on and you know i was fortunate god, god kept me um yeah. and you know i got walked away with this scar on my face mm -hmm. and a broken ankle not enough do you think now that I'm alive and I have this opportunity, what is your purpose? What do you think it is? My my purpose is to just share love with everyone. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And music is my form of love. We're like the Jerry Maguire of the game. I like that. You know what I mean? Like, we'll speak up and be like, yeah, that's wrong. We ain't doing it. Right. You know what I mean? And we've been... 
so we we try to 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 make great music quality over quantity mm -hmm. and just give people a chance but people who we believe in like we and and do it right in regards to your top producers i'm sure mr dark child was on the list oh, but growing up and i know you seven time champion producing in uk you know if i wanted to challenge you right here too bad we don't have machines hooked up because i think i may win but you know since we don't have that i'm just going to go on and ask you who exactly were the people that you said you know what one day him timberland timberland was number one on my list why everyone says why because our stories were late he was in the basement no one cared everyone for his no one for his music was um worthy of you know and then he was also you know, signed or he was also involved in a situation that was detrimental to his career, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And then he came out on top. Interesting, he claims that he's an underdog. Mm -hmm. He says, I am so, I'm successful because I'm an underdog. Do you feel like your story is similar? Mm -hmm. And I'm always going to be the underdog. I will always be the underdog. When you talk about music, even now with all the hits, as you call it, <laughs> <laughs> with all these records that are out they will always pick someone else before me and then I always have to choose then I have to come in and fight like that's that's how I've always been I will always be the underdog it doesn't matter how many records that go number one they will always treat me like the underdog which is fine and I'm happy with that I never ever wanted to be like Quincy mm -hmm. I just wanted to understand how, how it what it took to be that great mm -hmm. I mean, like I said you can't be him I don't care who you are you could start at 12 years old to do what he did he created too many superstars he didn't even create superstars he created legends it's like he passed me the torch like I just felt like he passed me the torch to just continue making great music not pass me the torch to be like Quincy Jones but right. pass me the torch of yes sir you are going to make continue to make great music we have an industry to help Mm -hmm, yes. Um, a lot of people say, what do you mean by help? Because you can't fight the industry. The mm -hmm. industry will never allow you to fight it. If you do, they'll kick you out mm -hmm. quicker than you could say fight. Right. So um, it's to help it. And how you help it is to create great music and create superstars that will have great influence. And then you go into different avenues like TV and film, and then it starts mm -hmm. to spread like, you know, and then it starts right. to spread like wildfire. And before you know it, you have a new era of artists who are singing Heal the World, who yeah. are singing End of the Road, good. who are singing, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, Whitney Houston, you know, and I'll always love you. Songs that will change your life, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? That's why I, I want people to sing these songs and, and, and be like, I love this person because of this song. Well, you're going to do it. I'm going to say that right now.